Welcome to Ready We're Rolling, as we showcase exciting new talent recorded live in front of a studio audience and broadcast across the World Wide Web from Sessions on the River in Fader, Ontario. Ready? We're rolling. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Sessions on the River. We're broadcasting live on the interwebs. And uh, if you're watching live on the interwebs, make some noise. <laughs> Obviously, they can't hear us, but thanks for making the noise anyway. <laughs> um, we're here today um, at Sessions with Jinda Lee. She's going to play some beautiful music for us, I'm assuming. It's beautiful. No, I've heard some online. It is beautiful. And some people online are going to be hearing it. It's not as good as when you're sitting in the studio, but you're still going to enjoy it. Um, we're going to hear some songs from Jinda Lee's first studio album and possibly a few songs or maybe a song from her new and second full-length studio record. Um, <clears throat> so... Put your hands together. Let's welcome Jindali. Hi. You guys are doing a good job of making it sound like this place is full. <laughs> it's amazing. It's good. Um, I guess I'll just introduce my band and they can come out as I say their names because they're being whispery in the back. So Gislaine O'Quain is my keyboard player and he's amazing. <laughs> He also does backup vocals. Rich St. Onge plays cello. Woo! Spencer Cole on drums. Woo! <laughs> and we've got Chris Banks on bass. Yay! Chris Banks. And last but not least, Nick Bulligan on trumpet. Oh, it's actually flugelhorn today. So that's more interesting than a trumpet, right? Flugelhorn? Whoa. Who has a Sounds flugelhorn? Sounds cool. <laughs> so, did you just start? Bye, Spencer. Spencer gets to retrieve in a cage box for yeah, he gets the duration his, of the he gets set. His own so room. we're just going to say, you know, see you later. <laughs> so, this is actually the single from the new album, which is coming out this fall. Hopefully, if everything goes as planned. And yeah, we'll just play some songs for you. Well, I've got one unfortunate heart. Something I've been trying to work out. They say lucky and money, unlucky in love. But I gambled away all my cash, now I've spent all my love But I don't know you and you don't know me You're just some distant part of my memory I don't know you and you don't know me We're just two people living in the same city The same goddamn city Different parts of the same city The same goddamn city Well, I found this place on a weather chart When you don't know where to go next, it's best to follow your heart And one month deep in this wreck Never thought things would fall apart so quick But I don't know you and you don't know me I guess that means that we were never meant to be I don't know you and you don't know me does that mean that we were never meant to meet? The nights are shabby and the days are weary And there's nothing left here, nothing left of me The nights are shabby and the days are weary And there's nothing left here, nothing left of me
adjust myself a little bit. That was beautiful. No all, no, all of you, even the brushes, <laughs> even the brushes, it was gorgeous. Um, loved it. So uh, Jindalee, you hail originally from Alberta, mm-hmm. yeah. um, but apparently you've lived all over the world and played music there too. 
which is all over. You know, but the world's so small. It's almost like, yeah, I played there. Where the world? Right. The yeah. world, just you know, here and there. Um, the so, <laughs> some interesting cities that you've played in, or countries that we might. <laughs> Wasn't that funny, Chris? Um, okay, appreciate it. <laughs> um, no, but some interesting. Uh, you've played in uh, Norway. No, okay, never guess Norway. Wrong. Finland. <laughs> what, you, what, what's the Scandinavia? What? <laughs> Scandinavia? No. <laughs> no. Uh, um, Japan. Yeah. We, we were talking yeah. about that earlier, and I was hoping that you would say it. Um, <laughs> no, but uh, Tom Waits has guess. a song. I'm big in Japan. Yeah, Do you know that song? Yeah. Have you ever covered it? Just to. No, but you, I, you know, I wanted to be big in Japan, so I felt like I kind of. Did covered you ever it. do your hair like somebody in Japan, like just <laughs> off to the side, or like you know those wacky? And you had your like entourage, like uh, yeah. Gwen Stefani has. No, I wish that would be really cool. <laughs> but you got so. big in. Apparently, you got big in. I have here. You got big in the uh, karaoke. Oh, a little bit. Yeah, you definitely. There's a lot of karaoke there. It's in fact, it's a little bit like that you're in your own room instead of being at a bar I've never been which there. is kind of fun i gotta yeah. i gotta go and see because i i might be able to that's where i could get my break you could possibly. shine that's where you could shine yeah so uh we got a lot of interesting instruments uh going on here well i mean fuel horn is really the main one that's interesting to <laughs> say <laughs> bass unfortunately very dull to say everybody has said it um, it's interesting only because you could pronounce it bass and then it's a fish. Um, so when you guys are rehearsing, what's the what happens in that space? Um, is somebody already coming with the arrangement? You usually or... Gislaine is hungover. <laughs> that's oh yeah, like that's how it no exception, no exception right now. That's the best way to work. Yeah, for apparently. sure. We um we kind of I write the songs and and then we kind of work it out together. We all sort of spend some time arranging things the way yeah. we think it sounds good we start we kind of start by just playing them and then we start to kind of pick at things and decide what where things should be pushed and yeah. where things but do you ever go like i want to hear like a mm, yeah totally in that section can yeah I get a, mm, yeah we do stuff know, like that, that. yeah thing. cool well Definitely. um already beautiful songs let's not waste any more time i do have to not that chatting to you is wasting time, and I'm sorry that I said that. No, but uh, I got to mention a few sponsors, and then back to the music. Um, Fort Erie Credit Union, we love them, because you know what? Got to give them credit. Um, and F8, or Fate, Hair Salon, and of course, Tex Arcana Restaurant. Thank you guys. They're making all this, this possible, and also the streaming online. So let's get back to the music. Jindalee, you're sounding beautiful so far. <laughs> Make us swoon some more. Okay. Uh, this song is called November. And uh, we've kind of reworked a lot of these songs, actually. They're from the original album. But when I recorded that one, I was pretty inexperienced, I guess. So now, now with this new band, we had to kind of reanalyze them and put new instruments on and new sounds and get excited about it again. So this is from the old album, but it sounds a little different. <laughs> Do we play this together first? No, we play like this. It's been a long, lonely day. Watch out my window, wait for the seasons to change. It's not gonna happen, not today I count the tiles on my floor One thousand and one, but I swear there's more Oh, go to bed and wait for sleep When all that ever changes is just the date Oh, Enjoy them while they last. When 
Maybe they'll just be burnt out fireworks And I'll just go down to the shore The regrets of everything I should have known Count all the stars that I cannot see One's hidden in the folds of the galaxy One's folded into the galaxy This is also a song from the original album, or the first album, and it's, it's been very reworked, so it's fun to play it now. It's kind of a, a long one. <laughs>
Sorry about that. It's really very haunting. Um, <clears throat> no, beautiful. Uh, if I want to buy this album, previous album, not the new album, because we don't know that one's not available yet. Soon. Where can we get it? Um, online on iTunes. On the interwebs. Yeah. On, on iTunes. Yeah. Search Jindalee. Mm-hmm. Um, there's probably. Uh, w- on the uh, live stream, is there a link to her website or anything like that, Chris? Uh, I'm going to add one right now. Yeah, it's Just so you watching at home, <laughs> jindalimusic.com. Perfect. And then yes. I'm sure there's links to all sorts of things, all sorts of, and exactly. there's a video on there. I know yeah. that for a fact. Mm-hmm. There's all sorts of stuff. It's really fantastic. For is, This is your first time playing in Niagara? or? Yeah. It is? It's my first time in Fort Erie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And it's a beautiful day, so it actually seems nice out here. No, it's I'm just nice. With the no, river, Fort Erie is beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. yeah, especially you know you can look outside here. People should come down to sessions yeah. and check yeah. it out because it is actually it's beautiful in here, and it's also beautiful if you just look outside. You know, um, your trumpet player Nicholas. I saw him perform in Niagara Falls at the Heavy Pickle Party. Oh yeah. That was, um, <laughs> and I don't want to go off topic here, but that was one of the most fun bands. I'd ever seen performed. What, what were you guys called again? That's called the Woodshed Orchestra. The Woodshed Orchestra. I'm sorry to go off book here, no, it's but that was super fun. You guys were great. Um, okay, uh, I'm just, I'm just going to plug a few things here again. Go for it. And then we're going to get on with more music. Uh, and I'm going to do it to the camera. So, um, Fort Erie Community Credit Union, check them out. Thank you to them. Thank you, of course, to Tex Arcana Roadhouse and Barbecue Restaurant. And uh, of course, Fate, Hair Salon, and Spa, and Trail Sides. And if you guys notice somebody running around here taking pictures, it's Joel from uh, Joel Smith Photography. So uh, check all that out. Let's hear some more beautiful music, and then we'll talk about some more of the craft when we come back to the talking section of the show. Jindalee. Thanks. All right. The song's called Anyway. Oh 
a kind of drug But anyway And I've been counting on A new religion For so long Because I This sinking sand Oh, it's funny The more you fight The deeper you sink up And so you try But the more you know The less you Our set list on the back of a, a receipt from the bank so I can flip it over and see how little money I have at any moment <laughs> it's hard being a musician <laughs> so this next song is called willow tree and it's a bit of a I I guess we'll talk about what I took in university in the next interview but I um, I took creative writing so there's kind of this is one of the songs that sort of involves the elements of writing and stories and the first album I wrote is a kind of about stories of other people and I was kind of interested in the south and like 
just people's stories that they've told me or things that I've heard along the way that I've kind of joined up to be, you know, stuff I make up, all kinds of stuff. <laughs> so this song is called Willow Tree.
fun. That was fun to play. <laughs> Great job, guys. Thanks. All of, no, seriously, all of you. <clears throat> Jindal I got a bit of a buzz going. <laughs> we got the buzz going. Everybody lost that joke. Yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> Uh, Jindali, uh, you mentioned uh, before that song that you did some creative writing, uh, or I guess you took creative writing apparently. I did, yeah. And uh, so I think you already answered the question that I was going to ask. So you sh shot me in the foot on that one because... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, because I was going to ask how it informs your songwriting, and obviously you have a lot yeah. of story songs, which are really excellent. We've heard some of that. Um, but you also paint... Mm -hmm. a which little is, bit, yeah. we were kind of joking earlier that you're basically Joni Mitchell because she is from out west and she paints and uh, does she write stories? Is she a, a, a creative writer? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't well, remember. Well, know. she's creative and she Leonard, writes. Leonard Cohen does. They can just be like, yeah. you know, I can be their love child. <laughs> Fuse them together. Are you a bit Jewish? Cause, um, no, but... Uh, oh, there we go. That's better. Perfect. So... Uh, is there any crossover with in, like inspirational crossover? Talk a bit about that. Yeah, I mean, I guess with creative writing, it you know, in taking a a degree like that, you kind of you're constantly evaluating and editing and looking at your your poems and writing and everything, and it it really informed my music in kind of taking time to look at that sort of stuff. I tend to write the song first and then the lyrics after. I don't know. Why it just that's happens. In, well, I think that's more natural. It makes more sense to me. But, and this is a bit of a, have you ever kind of gone back to a poem you wrote? Like, when did you start songwriting? Did that happen a um, bit later? Yeah, definitely. I kind of started writing and I, I decided to take creative writing. And then in the midst of that, um, in Montreal, actually, I had kind of started writing songs. And then I had a friend who really pushed me to start playing some of them. And I had terrible stage fright. I couldn't organize my mind on stage, I guess. So, <laughs> and then I'd be, I'd be so nervous, and I'd be like, "Why am I doing this? This is the worst feeling in the world. Why am I choosing to do this?" And then I'd go on stage, and then I'd finish, and I'd, I'd leave, and I'd be like, "Oh, that's why," because it feels amazing after. It's like an you're adrenaline like, rush. You're up there and you're playing songs, but you're putting the chords in the wrong order. <laughs> they, they don't go in this order. They don't go in this order. That, the words are all mixed up. That's happened before, yeah. <laughs> Or your fingers are shaking so much that you can't put them on the strings, but I've got, I've come past that. Did you, do you ever, do, have you ever gone back to your poems you wrote before you were kind of songwriting and, and tried to work them into a song, or does that feel very, like poems and lyrics are not the same? No, they're not the same. Um, I, some, thematically, sometimes, but not really direct crossover no are we ever going to see in the future a jindali book with paintings short stories and then songs that correspond totally with them totally love to do that and then like it's that. all bound <laughs> maybe awesome. leather bound and then the cds just yeah. like in a little totally thing in the front, i love and that it's a idea special... <laughs> all right well that might that's not going to be the next record but it might be the one after that um okay perfect thanks for chatting more jindali right now all right Okay, so this next one is called uh, Goodbye Ohio. And I feel like this one always can have a story that goes along with it because it's very much a story. I, my brother used to live in Ohio and one year we drove, me and him drove to California because he moved there. So it was kind of packing his stuff up and like getting ready for him to go and it was just, Ohio is such a strange state and you just kind of, I feel like there's so many musicians who's, who've written a song about Ohio, and I can see why. It's just, it's, it's uninspirational, and in somehow uh -huh. that turns around to be inspirational. I don't, know, I don't know how it works, but it just happens. So this is kind of about a road trip. It's a road trip and song. Say goodbye once, get once free And hearing cicadas in the trees Billboard signs telling me That Jesus is coming pretty soon 
guess we're leaving here today You're driving your overweight car Across the Mississippi To the grandiose canyons of the west Oh, I would take a piece of me and throw it somewhere in the middle of the Midwest. It's the middle of the world. Um, you packed up all of your things, your books, too many socks, and your shoes. You say that driving makes you free. I say it's funny how I kind of agree. Shine on new roads and new colors of clothes But we still can't seem to make a change And all the rhythms of the rhythms of the rivers Make me sleepy Make me want to weep Well, goodbye, Ohio You're taking up all the room in the backseat of the car da 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 You say the job it makes you free I say it's funny how I kind of agree We're trying on new roads and new colors of clothes But we still can't seem to make a change And all the rhythms of the rhythms Goodbye, Ohio, you're taking up, taking off, taking me. I guess we, we have one more for you. We planned this out to do eight songs because some of our songs are really long. And, um, so this song is actually the song that I did that painting about. It's a little, a little ode to an outlaw. I can tell you a little bit about this one. Um, I found this, I was taking a painting class in my first year in university, and we had to do a black and white painting, so I found this photo in a National Geographic, and it's of this man cleaning his gun in 1892, I think, or something like that. And he, uh, it just really looked interesting, so I painted that picture, and then I, I don't know, I left it at my parents' house. And years later, I went back and I was like, oh, it actually turned out well. You know how when you leave something and you come back, you're like, oh, okay, I like it, actually. <laughs> and uh, so then I found the little clipping again and I read his name at the bottom of it and it was Harvey Logan, or Kid Curry was his, his outlaw name. So I, because then, you know, the internet was all like how you look things up. And <laughs> so I just looked it up. I didn't have to go to the library or anything. And... It turns out back that then. <laughs> back then, Way back when. yeah. So it it's turns like out that. he's got a pretty crazy story. He's got these weird, infamous, like for example, he could apparently, which is not true, but he apparently could uh, shoot a coin six times before it hit the ground, which is impossible, apparently. <laughs> so, but he also killed more men than anybody else as outlaws. Everybody seems to think that was other people, but he's kind of, he kind of disappeared in that world and he, he, um, he stole a lot of money. Oh, yeah. He had this woman named Delamore, this prostitute that was his lover, and he actually, she held money for him and ended up going to prison for him once and he escaped prison like three times. And then he, both his brothers were killed because of his doings it's you know very very bad story but at the same time i do think like his brothers were killed at the beginning of this whole kind of story of him and then he kind of just chased the law down to kill them to get back for his brother's deaths so in in a way it's like you know is that well it's still not okay but <laughs> <laughs> it's the old west man anyways so he uh, he escaped prison and he was running and he ends up in the Moab desert, and he's been surrounded on this hill by all of these law enforcers, and he gets shot through the hand, and he just knows there's no way out, so he killed himself, he shot himself in the head, and that's how he died. 
<laughs> yeah, it's, I mean, he's kind of, nobody knows about him. I think that's why it's interesting that I found this weird clipping and then read a lot about him and then wrote this song to, uh, I don't know, to make it an ode. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take a little drink of water first. <laughs> Good one. Good job. I'm going to drink some beer. The first time you shot a man, it was here his gun that jammed. And to run from a crew. Judge, you became an outlaw. Oh, 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 and stealing names from your friends for all of your unclaimed children. But your only lasting desire was money and revenge. Oh, oh, but you can't have it all. No, you can't take it all. Oh, but what would you take when everything's at stake? Oh, cause up on that snow-covered hill I can see our whole lives And they called you the wildest of the bunch You killed the most men in the West Now a painted picture on a shelf Caught there in black, white, and dust. Oh, 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 and running with a stolen horse. When all you felt was remorse. With both of your brothers killed, you, the last left of the three, oh. Oh, oh, but you can't have it all No, you can't take it all Oh, but what would you take When everything's at stake Oh, cause up on that snow See how we died. Ooh. 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 Oh. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. When 
smoke rising desperately gasping at a lonely breeze and fire hunting down every lost soul on this land so if you want to hear that song again right now and you're on the interwebs watching there should be a link there jindalimusic.com it is on there yes with this lovely painting, you can read the whole story that we heard again. <laughs> you just relive it, you know what I mean? And that's the great thing about online. You guys, unfortunately, well, actually, fortunately, get to come up and you can <laughs> mingle and get pictures and meet. So you actually being here is better. But, you know, in another couple hours, whatever, you can go home, log on to the interwebs, and go to jindalimusic.com, check it out, and uh, check her out on iTunes. Uh, that was a beautiful song, very wonderful, and there's some beautiful, haunting, soft, yet exciting music you got there, and I think everybody should check it out. Um, I'm going to just say a few sponsors, and uh, and then that's, that's the end of this. It's sad to say that, the end of this, you know, because we've become friends. Um, Fort Erie Community Credit Union, Fate. Hair Salon and Spa, thank you guys for making this possible. Texarkana Roadhouse and Barbecue Restaurant. Uh, JB Pro Music, the live sound powered by them. And uh, Joel Smith, Smith Photography, um, a lot of flashing going on. Thank you, Jinda Lee and company. Give them a round of applause. And if you enjoyed it, if you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, be louder. If you enjoyed it, make it louder. They enjoyed it, really great. Okay, thank you very much. This has been Sessions on Le River, and I'm Joel Van Vliet. Thank you so much for coming. Thanks for listening to the Ready We Roller Showcase at Sessions on the River. Join us for another evening of great music. A special thanks to Jim Winnie from j and Music Full On Production. This has been an Earth, Sky, Water production. Tonight's show was produced by Chris Curry. You could be anywhere in the world, yet you chose to be here with us. Good night.